Hi, I'm Allie from Wagon Able, and today we're going to talk about what does a wagging tail mean. So one of the most common perceptions is that a wagging tail means that your dog is happy. However, this is not always true. Most behavioral experts believe that a wagging tail actually just represents really strong emotions, whether they're happy or not so happy. Before we dive into exactly what each type of wag means, here's a fun fact for you. Puppies are actually not born with the ability to communicate through their tail and they have to learn it. So similar to human infants, where they have to learn how to talk, how to gesture to get their parents' attention, Puppies learn that at about one month of age. They learn that they can wag their tail to show their siblings that they no longer want to play. And they learn different types of wags to explain to their mother when they're hungry or uncomfortable. And then, of course, they grow up using their tail as a form of communication. Here's one thing to keep in mind, though, before we dive into talking about tail wags. Certain breeds communicate with their tails different than others. I mean, think about pugs, they barely have a tail. So a lot of these things I'm gonna talk about, they're actually communicate a little bit different. So it's important for you to understand when your dog is uncomfortable or insecure or scared. And of course, when they're happy, so that way you can keep them safe and keep them out of harm's way. We're gonna start with a happy wag. So a happy tail is usually in a very neutral position maybe partially raised, it's really, really excited, exaggerated, there's a butt wiggle with it. Um, And I only recently learned that a really, really, really happy tail is actually called flagging because it just moves so, so fast. That's what a happy dog looks like. Now, a dog that is on alert or showing aggression will typically have a tail that is straight up. And... (laughs) While looking up information for this video, I actually learned that the reason the tail goes so high up (laughs) because this allows the anal glands to release a scent marking the territory and letting other dogs know that, hey, bro, I'm here. I'm ready to go. Don't come at me. But one other thing is that even though that tail is straight up, you can actually have wagging. So if it's going really, really fast while standing up, that is an alert sign. You got to look for other things like ears back or ears forward, those hackles standing up because a lot of bites happen after people say, well, the tail was wagging. Okay, well, but if it's standing up and (laughs) the scents are coming out and all that stuff, your dog was trying to alert to you that they were not comfortable. And the last one is, if the tail is kind of like hanging low and maybe kind of just swishing just a little bit or even like tucked all the way, that usually indicates that the dog is insecure and they want to get out of the situation. And again, going back to the scent, is the reason the tail tucks under is to prevent any scent from coming out because the dog kind of wants to blend in with the background. They don't want the threatening, whether it's a person or the dog, to know that they're there. And as always, even though they're insecure or scared, the tail might be going really slow, just like, just like the little tip just keeps wagging. So if you see that, and especially the ears are back and your dog just is trying to get away from the situation, let them. Don't force them to be in it. Really be an advocate for your dog. So to putting it all together, Really learn to identify your dog's telltales, no pun intended, of how they're feeling. And especially for the breeds like pugs, basenjis, their tails curled, it's already standing up. Learn what other signs that that dog is giving to show, are they happy? Are they scared? Are they giving you kind of an alert stance? It's like, hey, dude, get away from me. Really learn to understand your dog. And just like I said, be an advocate for your dog. Tell the other person, the other animal, like, hey, my dog doesn't want you here right now. Or, hey, my dog really loves you. Let's do a play date or something like that. 